full, complete and perfect binary trees. First of all, what is a binary tree? When will you call any tree as a binary tree? The condition is this. Any node in this tree can have a maximum of two children. This is the condition for any tree to be a binary tree. Which means each node can have either zero children or one child or two children. All these three are allowed in a binary tree. Let us draw a very simple binary tree. This is a binary tree. If I add one more node here, is it still a binary tree? Yes, it is a binary tree. Again, if I add two nodes here, it is still a binary tree. Why is it? Because the condition is satisfied, which says each node can have 0, 1 or 2 children. So, this node is having 2 children, left and right child. This node is having only 1 child. So, this is having 2. This is having 1 child, only the left child. What about this node? This is having no children, 0. This is having 2 children. This is having 0. And this is also having 0. So, the condition is satisfied and this is a binary tree. Now, the question is, what is a full binary tree or is this a full binary tree? So, let us understand the condition for a full binary tree. So, there is a very slight change from the condition for binary tree in order to be a full binary tree. So, if this is for the binary tree, then for full binary tree, the only alteration is that one child node is not allowed. So, any of the node should have either zero children or two children. There should be no node which is having one child. This is the condition for a full binary tree. So, be cautious here because by the name full, do not think it is a complete binary tree which is fully filled. That is not the condition here. In order to be a full binary tree, the condition is any node can have either zero children or two children. So, it is not like all the levels should be completely filled. That is not the condition for a full binary tree. So, this is a full binary tree? Yes. If I add two more nodes, it is still a full binary tree. What if I add one node here? This violates the condition. How does it violate? Because this node is having only one child now. So, this violates the condition. But instead, if I am having two nodes here, this is still a full binary tree because this is having two children. This is having only no children. This is having two children and both these are having zero children each. So, this is still a full binary tree. So, at this point, you understood what is the condition for binary tree? What is the condition for a full binary tree? Next question is, is this tree a complete binary tree? It is not. Why it is not? Because if it has to be a complete binary tree, then the condition is that all levels, all the levels of the tree should be completely filled except the exception is that the last level, this need not be completely, uh, completely filled. Instead, it may be partially filled, but the partial filling should always be done strictly from left to right. So, this is a complete binary tree. But instead, so I'll, I'll draw a fresh figure. So, at this point, it is a complete binary tree? Yes. This is a complete binary tree? Yes. If I add one node here, it is still a complete binary tree. So, note this here. This is a binary tree? Yes. Is it a full binary tree? No. Because you have only one child here. But is it a complete binary tree? Yes, it is a complete binary tree because all levels are completely filled. And the last level, you have an exception for complete binary tree. The exception is in the last level, you should fill from left to right, which is correctly followed here, which means this is a complete binary tree. So in complete binary tree, you can have zero, one or two children. That doesn't matter. But the condition is that all the levels should be completely filled till the last one, till the second last one. And what about the last one? In the last level, you should have the filling always from left to right. This is the condition for a complete binary tree. So, if instead of this, I had a tree like this, this is not a complete binary tree because in the last level, leftmost node is not filled. So, the condition is violated. If I have this, it is still not a complete binary tree because in the last level, filling is not done from left to right.
there is a node missing here right so if i have something like this this is a complete binary tree so at this point you know what is a binary tree you know what is a full binary tree what is a complete binary tree the next thing is what is a perfect binary tree is is this a perfect binary tree we know it is a complete binary tree but it is not a perfect binary tree so what is the condition for a perfect binary tree for perfect binary tree the condition is all the levels should be completely filled so if this has to be perfect this should also be filled whatever be the number of levels you have all the levels should be completely filled so another way of stating this is there are two conditions for it to be perfect binary tree so if any tree has to be a perfect binary tree there are two conditions the first condition it is that all the leaf nodes should be at the same level so first condition is that for all the leaf nodes they should be at the same level this is the condition for perfect binary tree and there is a second condition the second condition says all the non leaf nodes all of them should be having two children each so this is the uh, this is when you call it a perfect binary tree so these two conditions they automatically imply that all the levels should be completely filled how does it imply because first condition says all the leaves should be at the same level right and the second condition says all the non leaf nodes should have two children each so if i'm having any anything like this this is not a perfect binary tree and this violates the condition that all the non leaf nodes should have two children each because this is a non leaf node and it is not having the second child so if you put two two children each for all the non leaf nodes and you see that all the leaves are at the same level automatically it will so happen that all the levels of the tree will be completely filled so that is when you call it a perfect binary tree so this from this you you would have automatically understand understood that a complete binary tree a complete binary tree this is a perfect binary tree till the height h minus 1 so if h is the height of the tree you have a complete binary tree then it is a perfect binary perfect binary tree till the level h minus 1 why is it because complete binary tree says all the levels should be completely filled except the last level which can be partially filled which means till h minus 1 level complete binary tree is a perfect binary tree so in this lecture we learned about three types of trees and three tri three types of binary trees so we told the conditions that in a normal binary tree you can have zero one or two children each then what is the second thing we discussed a full binary tree in this the condition is you can't have one child you can either have zero children or two children in any node and what about complete binary tree in a complete binary tree all the levels should be completely filled except except the last level which can be partially filled this is for complete binary tree and what about a perfect binary tree here all the levels should be perfectly filled completely filled so this is about different types of binary trees